two major themes. Number one, Michelle's right. If you're caught in the crosshairs of rising costs and a stronger dollar, you got problems. So just look recently. Several companies last few days talking about higher costs, even stronger dollar. General Motors, Whirlpool, Illinois Tool Works, Kimberly Clark, even Coca-Cola talked about higher costs, although their overall report was excellent. That stock's trading the upside. Here's the other thing we've learned. Not all raised guidance is the same. Normally, raised guidance market loves that. Look what happened today. Ingersoll ran. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Good numbers. They raised their guidance. They're up. But Boeing raised revenue guidance. Northrop raised earnings guidance. AT&T talked about higher guidance. But wait a minute. All these stocks are down. What's going on? The answer is it's not all the same. So look at Boeing. They raised their revenue guidance. Sometimes that's good enough. But they didn't really raise their earnings guidance. Here's the problem. Boeing's up 17% this year. That's not good enough. Just talking about slightly higher revenues. We knew back in April that the earnings were going to be okay. They didn't change the earnings guidance, and that's why it's down today. AT&T, they talked about earnings in the high 350 range. I'm sorry. They've given guidance for 350 way back in April. That's not good enough either. The market's not impressed with that. That's why we're trading down. Again, not all revenue, not all guidance is exactly the same. Still, earnings have been good overall. Many, many companies beating expectations more. And look how close we are from new highs. The Nasdaq's there. The S&P's one and a half. And everyone who says there's only FANG stocks out there, the equal weight S&P, all 500 the same weight, they're only 2.9% from a historic high. And look at the mid cap and the small cap. All of these stocks, all of these sectors, excuse me, near new highs. Finally, just note quickly, new home sales, just terrible numbers overall we've been getting recently. And look at those home builders all down. Hope you look at Diana Olick's great article, CNBC.com, why home builders have been having a tough time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.